Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I want to share with my colleagues on both sides of the aisle and, and with the panel uh, and with the audience a true story. It's a story that happened in Alabama over 60 years ago. And it's recorded in a national bestseller uh, by one of our colleagues because he was the little boy in that story. And that's John Lewis. John was playing at his aunt's farm one morning with 15 of his brothers and sisters and his cousins when a storm came. I don't know whether it was a hurricane or a tornado, but we've, always, we've all been on those days where it starts pretty sunny and things get dark, the wind picks up, you know, night almost turns, I mean, day turns to night. Uh, he records what happens there and he relates it to years later during the Civil Rights Movement. And, and here's what he said. Well, what he talks about what happened that morning, the children, the aunt, his aunt rushed them in the house, and the house began to shake, the storm blew, and one corner of the house actually lifted up. And all the kids rushed over to that corner of the house, and it settled back down. In a few minutes, as we know from storms, I've been through one, the other end of the house began to lift up. All the little kids came, went over to the other end of the house, rushing back and forth. He said America sometimes is like that. You know, children in a house rock, rocked again and again by winds, one storm after another. The walls around us seem at times as if they might fly apart. You know, that's America today. Uh, it's quite a storm. It's the civil rights movement in Alabama in 1960. So much tension, so many storms. But here's what he said. But people of conscience never left the house. They never ran away. They stayed, they came together, and they did the best they could. That is, that is America to me, he said. Not just the movement, but civil rights, but the endless struggle to respond with decency, dignity, and a sense of brotherhood to all the challenges that face us as a nation, as a whole. Now, let me tell you this, gentlemen. We're in that house today. I see the American people in that house. Uh, I see lenders and borrowers. Uh, I see the Congress, I see the administration. Sometimes we, we're almost like children rushing from one end of, of that house to another. We're scared. We're, we have anxiety like those little kids that day. But as I look around that house, and I say this because the last thing we want to do is point fingers because we're, that doesn't help. It wouldn't have helped then. But as I look around the house, I don't see the Financial Accounting Standard Board. I don't see the engagement. I don't see the urgency. I see the SEC, and I know that, as I said in my prepared opening remarks, we ordered a study, and the SEC reported that there ought to be changes to mark to market, and that they were causing distortions in the system. And one of the weakest corners of that house is our financial system and our banking system. And they said it was causing real problems there. And back in January, they asked the Financial Accounting Standards Board to join the fight. I see you here this morning. I'm glad you're in the house. Let me tell you, we're, it's a storm. We can't just sit around and talk. We need action. We need it now. Thank you.